Okay, we're back into open session. There were no votes taken at executive session. Um, consent agenda. I'd like to make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Second. Is there any discussion on anything on there? Any questions? No? Okay, all those in favor? Okay. Um, from, from the consent agenda. Thank you, the, Mr. The appointments be, that were made to the consent agenda, middle school cross country, Steve Schreiner, district-wide curriculum coordinator, Amy Donnelly Roach, Ranger School part-time teacher assistant, Jacqueline Garcia, and number four was placed on hold. Uh, because the uh, letter wasn't wasn't in in line, and we also need to talk about the uh, intramural program, and that'll be on the next agenda. Okay. okay. Um, old business update on strings program, Mrs. Herman. Yes, this is the elementary strings program, and I'm very pleased to announce that we do have an instructor. Um, lessons will run before school, as they have in the past. Students can choose violin, viola, or cello as their instruments, and details and sign-ups will go home to fourth grade parents through the building principals. When is that going to? We anticipate uh, lessons will begin the first week in October. And when will the notice go out? Just soon. <laughs> I'd like to get the notice to go out probably the end, end of next week. Okay. Uh, and we'll also put it on the uh, next agenda for the appointment. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Any questions on that? Is that a volunteer position? Amy, no. did you want to come up and say who you are, please? Amy Mullen. Um, is that a volunteer position? No, it, it's not. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. And how's that being funded? No, none of the details have been worked out yet. I'll, I'll speak with, with the, uh, the candidate tomorrow to get the details, and then Mr. Fiore and I will uh, put together a proposal for the okay. next school committee meeting. Okay, thank you. That will be good. Thank you. Um, new business discussion regarding acting interim curriculum director. Okay. Do I have any questions? I, uh, I'm not sure. For, what is it? Uh, the curriculum director, I think we... We anticipate that she's going to arrive October 14th or 15th. So we, we've got a month uh, to get through. Uh, we, we had our professional development day today. It uh, mm -hmm. went smoothly. There's a lot of work that needs to be done in the next month as far as materials that's, that are arriving, uh, that were ordered. We need to inventory those materials. Uh, there's a lot of uh, follow-up that needs to be done as far as pacing with the new programs, where teachers are. Uh, what, what extra materials they need. There's a lot of discussion that needs to happen with, with the new materials. Uh, if we wait for four weeks, it's just, you know, it's going to be four more weeks that we're going to be on hold. My concern is, though, that you're having someone who's not going to be the curriculum director having those meetings and ha doing those pacings and having those discussions, and the person that comes in is going to have to just do that anyway. Well, um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think the person coming in will have to repeat. Mr. Mr. Amrill is a veteran administrator. He was our curriculum director. Well, uh, we're going to separate those discussions right okay. now. We're just discussing the, the, the need. The, the, not, the, not need the need is going to be a, an immediate inventory of material coming into district, uh, looking at uh, ordering additional materials as, as we get information back from uh, building principals. Uh, and it's, you know, I, I think it's, it's, a, it's a long time to wait to get that get that ball rolling and get someone uh, on task with, with everything that's going on. Just because we got the two new curriculums uh, you know, up, up and running this year with, between uh, Eureka Math and, and being a writer uh, pilot. Yeah, I guess I'm just not convinced that a month is that critical and, and to save taxpayer money for, to not have that salary for a month, I just, I, I'm, I'm, I, I hear what you're saying, but, but in, like in, I said. Just remember, the position's been vacant for, for a while also. Right, so but we just started school, and the position was only vacant, vacant this summer. I mean, she right. just, you know, so in, in third week in August, I think we accepted the resignation. So. Right. Yeah, we can't, we can't remedy the vacancy right. that's passed. Right, so. right. No, I guess I'm just, my point about the vacancy is it hasn't really been that long. It's only been since the start of school. So that, that's just my thoughts. I don't know what the other thoughts of the committee are. <coughs> Anyone else? Have anything? Carol? No, no, I, I do understand the concern that 
what's ever done in the next month may not be the way that the new curriculum director will choose to set things up and run them. Um, and so we'll have paid for a month of work that essentially will be erased. Um, in, in terms of the of just inventory in, in you know um, textbooks and ordering additional materials uh, that doesn't sound like something that would justify a, a full-time person for four weeks yeah I, I'm, I guess I'm tend to agree with um, Ms. Palish about the whether or not we really need one. If we have we've identified a candidate who we've hired who's accepted the position, um, <coughs> that uh, I think it's going to more likely to create confusion than it is actually help help move things along. Mr. Bugandian. Well, I, I don't know. I, I still don't see what is the benefit of doing it now as opposed to waiting for the new person to arrive. Right? Okay. <sighs> Do you, do you see some benefit to convince us that? that well, I, 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 I just think the, the coordinate, it's, you know, it's four weeks. We'll, we'll survive for four more yeah, weeks. It's, it's not somebody doing a job for four weeks, and <coughs> right. that I appreciate, but I'm, I'm just not sure it's, it's, you know, the bang that you get for the buck is, seems relatively minimal. Okay. Um, the next um, one. I'll make a motion. Oh, it's not just yet. Discussion. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. In a, minute. in a minute. Okay. Discussion. And I should look at the 6A versus 6B. Sorry. Discussion regarding acting ranger school principal. So that really is. Mr. Cabral, are you right. finding? That, that's, I find there's a need to have someone in the building, an administrative presence, presence during recess, during lunch. Uh, parent concerns. I'm still dealing with, with parent concerns directly, you know, as a range of principal, but we need to have someone in the building that's going to take care of the emergencies. So uh, you're, you're finding that much of your time is being spent in central office? Correct. Yeah. And, and, I'm, and I'm being pulled, you know, in two different directions. And so far we've been, we've been, you know, without incident, I had to go back one time in an emergency to, to Ranger, but I'm concerned about that. You know the lunchroom, the recess, uh, and just general student safety, and as well as supporting the teachers, having right. someone in the building to support the teachers when they need something. Yeah. So those right. issues, I guess, are a little bit different because those are things that can't wait. Right. You can't right. not support your right. teachers, not deal with your parents, not have someone right. at recess, not. Yeah. Okay. The one, to, the one-on-one. -on -one. Right. Anybody else have any questions or comments on that one? I only have one question. Is he going to let him? talk to him in lunch <laughs> <laughs> so the twins will be happy <laughs> <laughs> they always talk during lunch okay <laughs> until the end of the lunch when they need to concentrate on eating so we can get back to class <laughs> I'm only joking with you okay information regarding opening of schools mr. Cabral yes the, op the opening of schools went very smooth this year I, I want to say a special thank you to all of our school principals, secretaries, custodians, and especially the central office staff. Everyone helped out and did the extra work that was needed because of Mr. Eric's absence due to his injury. Our enrollment this year is down by 21, overall enrollment is down by 21 students as we open this school year compared to last school year. But I provided a graph showing where the, where the enrollment is down. It's, it's down on the elementary level. A little bit down on, on the middle school and it's up at the high school we got plus 25 students at the high school level uh, the elementary decline a lot of that decline was in K and, and we saw a, a, a smaller class in K at Ranger this year uh, you know a lot of times what happens with that when we have a small K class we have more people transfer it back in for grade because one. they're right. using the private K, K and for a full day K, K. Yeah. K yes okay. more and more families I That's think the are thing expecting and needing full day K and so they yeah. Um, yeah. wait until first grade to enroll them here with come us. Back. Yeah. As, as far as the opening of school I'll, I'll talk about Ranger I think we had a, we had a real smooth opening uh, the teachers were ready to go the kids were ready to go uh, the first the first day of school of course there were a lot of parents that came to school for the, you know just to make sure the kids were fine uh, we met with them uh, they went to the cafeteria in the library the teachers uh, you know picked up their students and went to back to class and we were off and running uh, it's been a smooth opening at, at Ranger. 
Uh, there are a few things that we need to get done as soon as I get the acting person on uh, as far as fire drills and that type of things that, right. that we're a little behind on. Right. And would, just would the other principals like the other to say yeah, I think I'll just echo Mr. Cabral's sentiments. A very smooth opening. Uh, the freshmen came in, seemed very, very well prepared. We spent a long time with transition with them. They did a welcome party, uh, a welcome orientation from Mr. McKinnon and the guidance counselors before the first day of school. Got an additional tour. Uh, they were ready. Mr. McKinnon has met with, and the guidance counselors have met with all the classes individually. And um, things are going well. Okay. You know, we had a beautiful opening. Um, we had one teary three-year-old, lovely Ron, that in that morning when he was in the nurse's office, he looks around and goes, your office is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so everything's going on. We had our fifth grade meet and greet the day before the school started. We had a very quiet opening. <laughs> one sticking point that uh, has to the facility itself, and that is the parking lot. Uh, and that was our director of maintenance, Mike um, Mendes, and we came up with a schematic and ordered some signage, run away, do not enter, stop, so that we can better manage the when we go through So I'm just keep going. I would be out there a few times, like the traffic cop that's always on the road. That's it. Oh, good. Very good. Thank you for our everything. Again, like everyone else said, like terrifically. And I think what helped was um, I did use student orientation, besides kindergarten orientation, also new student orientation a week earlier. So we had all new families in. Oh, uh, nice. Tours yeah. of the school, so everything just went perfectly. Oh, that's good. Thank you, all of you, for all that hard work. It was really nice. Yes. Okay, so now we're on to um, action items, approval of acting interim curriculum director. Well, at this point, listening to the discussion that we just had, I'll, I'll remove the re recommendation. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Approval, approval of acting Ranger School principal, please. Yeah, motion. yeah I'll make a motion to accept uh, Mr. Cabral's recommendation. Second. Any questions? I, I do have a question because um, it's uh, an and essentially an internal hire we have created another opening then and the opening that's created at the high school phys ed department will that be filled with a daily sub a long-term sub that, or that'll be filled with a long-term sub a long-term sub okay right. any other questions no okay as Matt. soon as we approve it okay. <laughs> we will <laughs> all those in favor okay Matt, Matt McGuire, the department head at uh, Tiverton High School Phys Ed Department, uh, was the recommendation for the acting acting principal job. Thank you, Manny. Thank you. Um, C is acting superintendent salary. Mr. Fiore. Yes, thank you, Mrs. Black. At the uh, direction of the committee at last meeting, I have prepared a recommendation um, for the acting superintendent salary and based on past practice in the district typically what we've done is when there's an administrator filling in such as uh, Mr. McGuire um, we um, use the differential in salary between the vacant position and their current current position so based on that I'm recommending a weekly uh, increase in salary of five hundred fifty eight dollars and thirty three cents for the acting superintendent position motion to approve Second. do I have any questions on that one so this is going retroactively to the point when you assumed your position? I, I would assume. think. Yeah. I would recommend that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, all, all those in favor? Thank you. Um, replacement of stairwell at athletic fields, Mr. Fiore? Yes, thank you. Um, Part of our capital plan for the year was to replace the uh, the stairs going from the lower to upper athletic fields, and I believe we had some photos a few meetings ago, and um, we rebid that job. We weren't uh, satisfied with the original round of bids, and what we ended up with the second time was, was uh, much more successful. What we're recommending is um, a uh, the low bid was WH Pepe's of Lincoln, Rhode Island at $16,736. I was a bit concerned originally because the estimate that we had prepared and presented to the school committee was uh, $8,500. Yeah. But what we didn't realize at the time was the stairs 
our recommended stairs are now going to be ADA compliant. They're a little wider, they're cement, and they have a railing. So uh, based on, on that, I'm um, recommending we go with the new design and award the contract to our low bidder. We also um, did some reference checks, and uh, the, the former customers were very pleased with the company's work. So the new design is also longer, doesn't it include more Correct. stairs? That's one of the ADA requirements. Yeah. Okay. It was what we saw in the picture at right. the last minute. Exactly. It's what somebody, uh, uh, the one company bid even though we hadn't requested that. That's and, right. And how does their uh, sort of unrequested bid compare with what we've, we're it going with now? The, the m design that we became aware of the first time was about five thousand dollars more than what we're awarding here so okay. rebidding w right. was w well worth our while yeah. thank you <coughs> so do i have a motion for that one i make a motion to accept uh the bid for the um replacing the stairwell at the tiverton high school playing fields from pepe's general contractor at sixteen thousand seven hundred and thirty six dollars do I have a second? No. Any questions? Just one last question, Ms. Fury. So that, um, does, was that a budgeted item and that is going to be over budget or are we taking that out of capital? My recommend, it, it is a budgeted item because we presented that with our budget to the so budget committee and, and, and the voters, but my recommendation is the overage would be taken from fund balance. Okay. Any other questions? No? All those in favor? Approval for submission of Bay Coast Community Bank Grant. This is Laurie. Laurie Dyes Mitchell. Good luck with this funding source. We received two in a row last year moving forward. So, request for submission to submit it. Do I have any questions? There's a motion to uh, approve the submission to the Bay Coast Grant. Second. Any questions from anyone? I just want to, you know, I know all the principals um, have really been aggressive in trying to seek out grants. Um, for your buildings and for different things, and it's very much appreciated, both by us and the taxpayers. Oh, it really is. Anyone that does that, because we know what a process it is and how difficult, so we really appreciate you doing that. Okay. And, and nice. You have. Okay, good. You do seem to have a golden touch when it comes <laughs> to grants. <laughs> Please keep it up. <laughs> okay. That's great. All those in favor, then? Thank you. Any reports or announcements? I, I do have an, an announcement. Uh, Mr. Noritani asked me to, to inform the committee that he had been appointed to an av advocacy committee uh, for the Rhino Society of Technology and Education. The advocacy committee represents uh, the technology part both for public panels concerning technology and education both for both the state and the federal government. Uh, so he, he's uh, going to be part of that group. That's great. It also keeps us in the loop as far That's as uh, grants and that, that type of things that happen yeah. at the state level. Mm -hmm. That's great. And we'll have our spotlight on success. Usually we have it the first of the month, but we'll have it the next time because there was no school and everything. So anybody that has anything, just submit it to the link, are, are we leaving the date the same, given that they're having? No, we're going we're gonna to no. talk about that. Yeah. OK. OK, Carol? Yeah, I, I would just like to suggest that we change uh, the date of our next meeting. It's currently scheduled for September 23rd, but there is a public uh, meeting on the proposed uh, Main Road, Sousa Road development scheduled that same evening at 7 o'clock in our auditorium. Um, so I would propose we move our meeting to the following evening, Wednesday, Wednesday. September 24th. So that's currently the next scheduled meeting for the Facilities Committee, I'm pretty sure. Oh, the 24th? Okay. I don't know, but that was when... That was before Mr. Rerick's absence. Oh, so that he'll probably change that. Then. He, he hasn't changed it yet. Yeah. But he did inform me to, yeah. you know, that the meeting was happening on the 24th. I will not be able to make the 
that week, that Wednesday. Monday? Does Monday work better? Wait a second. Uh, if I could, um, sorry. Monday, no, Monday's I, not I, good. I won't be able to make Monday. No. Uh, Thursday? Oh, I can't do Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. So, but. Did Phil mention anything about if he's going to have a meeting? He, he, well, he's going to have a meeting. Yeah. Could he have that meeting at 6? What's well, the I'm, next? I'm, I'm, I'm sure it, you know, you know whatever, what I mean? whatever needs to happen, we can, the next we can make it happen. I mean, the following Tuesday is the Oh, that's yet. true. Would he, yeah, would, would he mind moving? Well, except that if he's already told people at 7. Right. We have five Tuesdays in September. Yeah, I was going to say, could we do the 30th? The 30th. Would that be uh, a problem for any reason that you can think of? <coughs> not that, not think of. Well, if, you need, if something comes up and if you, you need, need to have a, a quicker meeting, meeting right. you just let us let know. Us know. Okay. We can call is one. That, Jan, is that good for you? Is that good, Yanni? Yep. So is it Tuesday, September It's Tuesday, September 30th. It's good for you, Carol? Yeah, there was a mm -hmm. reason why there was five Tuesdays in September. Okay. That's it. All right. So that will be good. You have that, Elaine? Mm -hmm. Thank you. And if there's anything comes up, you let us know. We'll okay. call a meeting right away, of course. Okay. Any other announcements? Mr. Fazette? Uh, Tibbet and Power has also been uh, very generous again this year with us. Uh, we submitted an assessment proposal for about $12,000 worth of uh, technology assistant, um, assistance at the high school. and. Um, they went along with it. We have uh, document cameras to be added to the math and the language department. LCD mounted units will be going into English and social studies classrooms. And technology equipment um, was purchased for our engineering and our woodworking classes. I'd like to thank Tibbet and Power and also the help from the Tibbet and Education Foundation, especially to Mrs. Larson, uh, for helping us secure that money. Additionally, the Career Education Department Chair, Mr. Fernandes, uh, who has helped with students create two electric vehicles over the past two years, has actually been asked to present his renewable energy projects and electric vehicles at the Innovation Powered by Technology oh, nice. Conference uh, on Saturday, October 25th, which is sponsored by RIDE. And if anyone has time to go to that, it's a wonderful day of information, and you can get a lot, gather a lot of things and take them home and apply for them. <laughs> okay, thank you. Anybody else? Just briefly, Mrs. Black, um, we had our life insurance uh, bid opening Friday, which was successful. We had to rebid that the first time around. We had one bidder, and it, it would have equated to about a three. Our uh, our rates would have tripled. So I wasn't happy with that. Ooh. We rebid, and uh, I'll have a recommendation for the committee next meeting. And we have our uh, annual oil bid. Uh, the oil bids are due next Friday, and we picked up a few new participants with the local municipalities and school departments, so I'm hoping that yields uh, some additional savings. Okay. And we're doing that with the town? Yes, the town. Uh, Portsmouth's involved. We picked up the town of Little Compton this time, and we have um, uh, Bristol and uh, Middletown oh, as good. well. That's good. That's good. Thank you. And Linda and I went last Friday to the um, Energy Summit. It was all day, and it was really... Um, it was amazing. They were there from Washington and everything. And once you go there and sign up, then they start sending you all the grants that are available. So we'll start getting those in and looking at them for anything that can help the schools with the, with the power. Okay, thank you very much. Mrs. Mrs. Herman. I'd like to make a motion that we return to executive session under SS42-46-5A2 to discuss middle school student lawsuit. Second. All those in favor? Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Thank you, everyone.